All right, everybody, what's going on? What's going on here? Oh, shit. All right, there we go. I hope everyone is having a lovely, lovely Memorial Day weekend. We just got done finished eating, man, and I'm telling you, I could actually take a nap, but decided to stream because um, there were several of y'all, y'all was actually asking if I could do Mega Man 5 again using the Mega Buster. So I was like, you know, I've done this multiple times on there, so I said, you know what, what the hell. I'll go ahead and do it again, anything for my viewers. But uh, anyway, once again, this is Big Boss DBZ coming at y'all. Um, I post videos almost daily on my TikTok. If y'all want to follow me on TikTok, go ahead and scroll down and click on the icon. It will take you straight to my TikTok. I'm actually on the road to 1,000 followers. I believe I'm somewhere in the 600 range. And if y'all guys would help me with that, that would be awesome. But um, anyway, guys, let's get Mega Man 5 up and running. Let's see. Oh, well, hold on. Got to click on my emulator here. I didn't think I was going to be uh, streaming Mega Man 5 today. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, why not? Let me make sure that my controller is... Um... Yep, it is. Okay, awesome. All right, guys. Um, I have streamed all types of retro games, such as Mega Man, uh, Super Punch Out, or Punch Out Wii, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, uh, Battle Toads. You name it. Any old school or any NES game. I'll just say that any NES game I pretty much streamed on there. But um, all right, guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get it on. We're gonna start with Stone Man. Once again, I hope everyone is having a lovely, lovely day. Mega Man 5 is actually one of these games that I actually started out with as a kid growing up. Mega Man 5 was actually the very first Mega Man game that I've ever picked up. And then it was from that point I went to play uh, Mega Man 4, and then the very first Mega Man game. Yeah, M Mega Man, the very first one, is actually a bitch to uh, complete. Especially when you get all the way towards the end, uh, when you face Yellow Devil. Yellow Devil is actually very, very hard. Oh yeah. For those who don't know, Mega Man 5 consists of eight letters. There's a letter in each stage, so therefore, um, we need to go collect them. If you get all eight letters in the game, then you will get a bonus weapon, which is going to be very essential to my gameplay. All right, there we go. I can play through this game quicker than anything. Don't worry, I'm not going to be doing this the whole game. I just like to charge up my Mecha Buster through uh, certain portions of the game. Now, this isn't going to be a speed run or anything like that. But, uh, I will get through this game at a certain amount of pace. Man. 
look at that, I got another one. This is an energy tank which allows Mega Man to refill his energy. You can carry up to nine. That is actually my very first one of the game. I didn't have to come all the way out here, but it's all good. Stone Man stage is actually the longest stage in the whole entire game, in my personal opinion. This is Eddie. Eddie is pretty much like a, well, Mega Man's purse. Uh, he will jump randomized items, but there is a specific item you want. Uh, don't pick it up. Leave. Come back. And uh, he'll have it for you. But it's more like a 25% chance that he'll have it. I am playing horribly right now. This is his basic attacks. He'll jump up, he'll try to smash into you, like this. Or if you get within a certain distance of him, he'll um, unleash this like shield-like stone, which is completely bullshit. And he is down, he is gone. On to the next Robot Master. <laughs> By defeating Stone Man, we get Power Stone, I believe. I'm not using any of the powers, the abilities, but um, when I get close towards the end of the game, I'll show them off, let you know what they are. Next up is Gravity Man. He can levitate gravity. He can make you go up or down. As you can see, he can change the polarity. There's another one up right there. Try not to charge up the Mega Buster too, too much. You jump there. Watch this last jump right here. They got spikes right up there. Easy stage. Until we get to Gravity Man. Gravity Man, he will continually change the gravity of the room while shooting at you. Just pretty much stay moving and you'll be just fine. Yeah, if you ever get hit when you're fully charging up your Mega Buster, you'll lose your charge. And there we go. We have defeated Gravity Man. All right. 
by defeating Gravity Man, we get this thing called Gravity Hold, I believe. I think it's Gravity Hold. I don't know any of the Robot Master's weakness, honestly. I Well, I know a few of them. Like, Gyro Man is actually weak to Gravity Hold. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ever since as a kid, I have just been known to just use the Mega Buster on these guys. <laughs> I just pretty much watch their patterns. God damn it. We'll just move right on. If you don't destroy the top, then of course you're gonna. Yeah, get hit. We're coming up on Eddie once again. I don't want that, so I'm going to leave, and I'm going to come back. Let's see if... Uh, I'm going to go for the energy tank again. There's a 25% chance you'll get what you want. Come on. No... Hold on. I got four uh, one-ups. I don't need any more. Energy tank. Come on now. There it is. We're good. Just try not to get hit by those crystals there. They're like, what, artificial crystals? Oh, see there? What the fuck? I got hit twice. Have a energy tank right there. Now, one thing that's unique about Mega Man 5 is Mega Man 5, unlike the other Mega Man games, has a M tank, which you see right there. It's called the Mega Tank, which not only will fill up Mega Man's life, but it will also refill up weapon energy as well as his life energy, which is actually kind of swell. I don't use any of it. I want you to hook this wall over here to the left. There's our next letter. The V. Or that Roman numeral V. I, mean, I am going to be getting every letter in the game. Damn it, I was trying to slide. <laughs> All right. Crystal Man is not to be taken lightly. He is actually one of the toughest. Well, he is the toughest one. He jumps up, he throws out these um, crystals. It's only when you get far away from him, he'll cast out those, um, those uh, crystals. If you stay pretty much close to him, he won't do that. this. See? <laughs> the further away you get from him, the more chance he'll have to throw that attack at you. I almost died there. By defeating Crystal Man, we get an ability called the Crystal Eye. It doesn't freeze anything or nothing like that, but um, it's just an attack. We are three Robot Masters down. We are going to be taking on Charge Man next. You know, I ought to do a Mega Man uh, marathon. I actually thought about doing that, but I don't have a whole lot of the Mega Man games, with the exception of this one here. Come on. 
Top of a train here, guys. See, I grew up with this one. I can just speed run through this one real quick. I really thought I was going to get hit right there. I don't think we have enough of... Uh, well, we have a like shitload of one-ups. Alright, there we go. Oh, damn. What the fuck, man? <laughs> There's the A, it's in the window. Alright. Rush, he's pretty much a spring. He doesn't have any legs. Charge man himself. Charge man, he will rush at you and he will do his steam. Just be on the lookout for that. If you're not careful, he can, you know, give you a run for your money. Now, so far, well, I was about to say, so far he hasn't rushed at me yet. There we go. I kind of had to be quiet there for a second. That way, um, I could concentrate. By defeating, ch um, yeah, Charge Man, we get Charge Kick, which is the most useless, well, the second useless weapon besides the, uh, Power Stone. And I will show you much later on in the game why I know that. <laughs> charge Kick is bullshit. We're gonna take on Napalm Man. You know, as a kid, I've always went by this order. I never really skipped around or anything like that. I just pretty much just did any, the you know, from start to finish order. This is Napalm Man stage, which kind of looks like Jurassic Park, in a sense. There's actually another Mega Man game. I think it's Mega Man 7 that they have a uh, Jurassic Park stage. I don't know if those sparks are one hit kills. I'm not gonna wait around to find out. We have an energy tank over there on the left. How many do we have? We have five. That might be enough. Actually, that's more than enough. There's Eddie again. That purse. That's the checkpoint right there. Nope, don't want it. 
Tell you what, I'll, I'll take an extra man. Nope. I'll take it, why not? There's the N. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five letters so far. There's another one up there. And if y'all guys cannot hear that, there are some police sirens outside. With Memorial Day weekend here and everything, there's been a lot of suspicious activity on the lake. Hopefully everyone is um, playing safe. These are pretty much infinite missiles here, or torpedoes. You can't destroy them. As a kid, I always would just... I spent like maybe 45 minutes to an hour just trying to hit a torpedo continuously to see if I could destroy it. And uh, it was to my understanding that, nope, that's not gonna happen. This is Napalm Man. He starts off by shooting these missiles at you. And then these bombs. He actually will get a good pattern going if you kind of just stay right there and right when he throws the bombs, just jump out of the way. Simple, simple. And he's gone. <laughs> oh. I really need to come out with a YouTube. Well, I have a YouTube channel. I just don't post any videos on there. I think I'm going to have to do that. I have like tons of videos on there. But uh, I haven't really done any promoting of my channel. I think I'm going to start posting all of my uh, videos that I stream to my YouTube channel. That way, if y'all miss it here, y'all can watch it on my uh, YouTube channel. I just haven't applied all that. But I will. This is Wave Man Stage. I think we got two more uh, Robot Masters after this. Oh, that's steam, by the way. That's not water. Well, it's water vapor, but you know what I'm saying. It's, it's steam. If I really wanted to speed run this, I would just take the hit and just be like, you know what, fuck it. You can actually jump over most of these. This scene right here is actually in Mega Man 9, where you uh, go through a uh, Mermaid Woman stage. They actually took this concept and put it in Mega Man 9, which is actually pretty unique. That's a fun fact. One thing unique about this game also is that it has a motorbike section. Ta-da! I don't know what that was. I think that might have been uh, a one-up. I think it was a one-up. And you can't hit start or select or anything like that during this section, which I don't know why. So if you had to go to the bathroom or something like that, you're kind of held hostage until after this is done. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, don't time it. Alright, we are done with that. Actually, if you wanted to go to the bathroom, you could uh, kind of just stay right there. One thing also unique about these dolphins is two dolphins are going to jump at you when you try to receive the letter. I think it's the letter E. 
You want to be careful. Right here. Yep. You just kind of have to time it just right. Because if you completely miss that E, you're going to have to completely start this section over here. dive his little harpoon into the ground and water will shoot out then he'll throw his harpoon at you it's just right just right before he sticks his harpoon in the ground you may want to make sure that water doesn't come up supposedly that steam I truly think it's steam but it kind of just looks like water which I don't know why water would actually hurt Mega Man and there you go. By defeating Wave Man, we get Water Wave. All right, be careful. Yeah, by defeating Wave Man, we get Water Wave, which is actually it's a pretty useful weapon, but it sticks to the ground. And I believe that is um, Crystal Man's weapon. I I want to say. And we have Starman. Starman by far is the easiest. Easiest. And I'll show you why. But he has a brutal stage. His stage is fucking brutal. You talk about spikes galore. I was about to say, I usually get hit right there. I must be the luckiest person on the planet. I have nine lives. Oh yeah, the maximum um, amount of lives and energy tanks you get is uh, nine. There's the M. You really need to time your jumps here. This took many years of practice. Well, maybe not years, but... As a kid, I would have the hardest time coming through here. See, the next generation of our kids and everything, they don't know the struggle. <laughs> The struggle was real with these games. Space jumping. Time your jumps wherever you are. Now, I've said this before in future games. Well, with this game, Starman, if you get hit by Starman, you are the worst gamer in history. And every time I challenge this guy, I always get hit by him. At least one time. So let's see if I can uh, dominate without getting hit. He has a shield. Oh my god! What did I just say? Seriously? I'm not the worst gamer of all time. But this is all he does. This is the only thing he does. He casts his shield, then he'll throw it at you, and that's it. He doesn't have like a secondary attack. Well, I guess he does if he, you know, runs into you, but that rarely happens. I cannot believe I got hit by that asshole. <laughs> by defeating Starman, you get Star Crash and something else, I think. I'm not sure. It may be just Star Crash. 
Once again, I hope everyone is having a lovely Memorial Day weekend. Star Crash and Super Arrow. Okay. Once again, I had a lot of people petition that I played this game using only the Mega Buster. And so far, I am doing that. Our last one is Gyro Man. Gyro Man, he's okay. Um, his stage can, uh, you know, kind of rough up your shit a little bit. And uh, I'll show you why I know that. I can usually blow their shields right off. Like that. Jet Keys, what's up? What's outside, boss? What you talking about, bro? Well, I can tell you one thing that's outside. Uh, my barbecue pit. We had some, uh, some brisket and everything. Along with some hamburgers, hot dogs, and all that shit. How's your Memorial Day weekend going, bro? Yeah, a lot of people, they basically wanted me to play this game again. So I was like, you know what, why not? I was looking at, oh, my wife, uh, she was driving away. She had a DoorDash order. She told me that she'll be right back. I could have did a speed run of this today. Yep, we're just going to just skip you. <laughs> By the way, this ain't the checkpoint yet. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. The last letter is right around here. It's right there. You've really got to be careful. And we have it. By getting all the letters, we have what we call Beat. Beat is a bird which actually, if you come, if you call him down, he'll hit um, whatever um, item you tell him to hit, which is actually pretty cool. This is the struggle right here. These spikes are one hit kill, so you've really got to time your jumps right here. Oh my god, I really thought I was going to hit that last spike there. You get through that, you are pretty much out of danger. You are home free. I'm going to try to play some more retro games today. And also, um, Jet Keys, I think what I'm going to do is, is if people miss my uh, live videos, uh, I think I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel, just in case if people wanted to be a part of it and just couldn't get time, or get time to see it. What do you think? This is Gyro Man. He pretty much throws his propellers at you, and then occasionally he'll go up in the air. He'll send his propeller down, and uh, he'll try to uh, cut you up, basically. Like that. He'll send it, then he'll try to jump where you are. Good idea? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I mean, we're like, what, 35 minutes in? By the way, on, uh, I said Tuesday I was going to um, stream Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I can't wait for that. It'll be my very first playthrough. I've never played it before, but I was like, you know what? Why not? Oh, by the way, by beating Gyro Man, we get Gyro Attack and Rush Jet. All right. By defeating all Robot Masters, we are going on to Proto Man stage. Don't know if y'all are Mega Man fans or not, but Proto Man is actually the first prototype made before Mega Man. He's basically the used up pieces of um, what was made, or what was left to um, create Mega Man, the Blue Bomber. This is Proto Man's castle. Time your jump right there. A lot of people were at the lake today, man. I was like, damn. They had their boats and everything out there. 
Everybody had the par barbecue pit. Barbecue pit. Oh, I can't say that word. But it was it was hot out there today. But yeah, I didn't think I was gonna stream today. But I was like, you know what, fuck it. This is Rush Jet. I just knew I was gonna get hit. That's all right. A lot of people didn't believe me when I said that uh, I could beat this entire game using the Mega Buster. Well, with the exception of the final boss, I used Beat the Bird to uh, help me um, with Dr. Wily. I keep telling everyone, I said, hey, why don't you just watch all my other videos? Watch all the videos that I've had of Mega Man, uh, Mega Man 5. Alright. Damn it! Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, do Rush Jet. Okay. Well, Rush Coil. Shit. Robot Master number one. I don't know any of the Robot Master's weaknesses, so don't ask. <laughs> I just keep charging up the Mega Buster, and for every time you fire it, he goes faster and faster. And every time you get hit, you lose your charge. Oh, he actually killed me! And he actually had one pellet left! What the dick, man! Wow! <laughs> that is messed up! Actually, you know what? I think he is um, weak to waterway, now that I think of it. we go now we got it <laughs> damn I feel ashamed that I died this is the first time I died throughout this whole entire game in years did I figure out discord yes actually uh, my wife actually showed it to me and um, I figured you know I mean I guess I could use it but you know as uh, she pointed out it's basically a community where people come and gather chit chat and talk while the person's not streaming. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, you know, it's okay, but uh, I'm not real big when it comes to um, a whole lot of communities and everything. I'm still trying to grow my own, right? I may use it, I may not. I mean, I have YouTube. I, well, fisting to have YouTube. I have my Twitch. I have my uh, Twitter. And I have my TikTok. I'm real big when it comes to TikTok, in case if you haven't noticed. Well, I'm sure you know. I think, me personally, I think Discord is for when you actually have a community build up. When you have enough people, then you can have people come and join you. I'll read that here in just a second, bro. It isn't needed unless you got like two. See, that's what I'm talking about. I just said something along those lines. So, uh, I'm not really worried about it too much.
but it's okay. I'll get there. Oh, I missed him. There's an energy tank coming up. Normally I would get it, but um, I don't want to run the risk of um, dying here. I've already died once today. There were several people on my TikTok. There you um, go. A guy sent me a message. He was like, uh, have you ever played Mega Man Command Mission? And I told him, I said, yes, I do. I played it before, but you know, it's not part of the numbers. You know, it's not part of the franchise, really. God damn it. It, you know, normally it's not part of the franchise. I mean, I played it. It's a bad RPG game that was so badly put together. It kind of reminds me of Mega Man X6. And I fucking hate that game. Oh, I hate that game. I played it, but I just wish it wasn't the Mega Man X6 we got. But Mega Man Command Mission, it was eh. I played it a couple times and just never looked back. This guy evidently, he's got a force field and the more times you hit him, he does mega damage. number two is gone which reminds me I need to download Metal Gear Metal Gear is one of my favorite games for the NES I played every single Metal Gear Metal Gear Solid uh, Sons of the Patriots Guns of the Patriots love me some Metal Gear the only game I really truly didn't like was uh, Metal Gear Survive, which came out a couple of years ago. It's nothing like the Metal Gear franchise at all. Which reminds me, uh, what's y'all's favorite game? What's y'all's favorite old school game? I have a lot of favorites, but my number one favorite of all time is uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I mean, it is old school, but it ain't really like retro retro, so I guess that wouldn't count. I would say this game right here. I play it so much. Is my son laughing about in there? He's watching uh, YouTube on his phone. You know, ever since as a kid, that energy tank I've never gotten. I've never made an attempt to get that energy tank. I don't like to put myself uh, in harm's way of getting certain things. If it's going to kill me, I'll leave it. Wish I was in a swimming pool today. Oh, yeah, man. We actually have one outside, which I'm kind of surprised they're not in the pool today. They'll be in it later on this evening because, you know, it's hot right now. But, you know, I figured, you know, that's the best time to actually go into the pool is when it is hot. Yeah, 
Yeah, we went to the lake yesterday and uh, a little bit today. And like I said, yeah, it, it's not as hot, really. I mean, the wind is indeed blowing. And I love this weather. I mean, it was uh, it was 88 degrees. To, well, it's 88 right now. Love the cold water on the hot day. My man. That's what I'm talking about right there. A lot of people think that this... Uh, that he's hard. He is not hard. There's a guy by the name of Clement. Ah, uh, shit. Well, I was too close. Hang on. Okay. You jump up just right before he fires. And he'll shoot up. But yeah, we may go back out there later on this evening uh, to go for a swim. There we go. Any chicks in bikini? Oh, hell yeah, bro. D dude, I can tell you right now, these Texas chicks, they're not like California or Florida women, but these Texas chicks, I'm telling you, man, uh, they look good. They look real good. We actually had some, uh, we had some Asian women out here. We got some, you know, Mexican women. I, I don't discriminate. You know, I'm a married man. Don't get me wrong. My wife not here, but uh, I'm telling you, there's some uh, pretty good looking women here, guy. I'm telling you. Oh shit, all right, there we go. Now, I will say, um, they're not single. <laughs> there's there's quite a bit of ladies out there that um, pretty much have a man. The ladies that are here, they're pretty much taken. So, uh, Multicultural, yes, sir. And it is nice. Sounds like a good take. Oh, it is, man. When I was out there earlier today, um, when the people were coming out, uh, there was some Asian women that were coming out there. There was already uh, a lot of people out there. But um, I'm telling you, and <laughs> my wife knows this. She can't keep me from staring. <laughs> she can keep me from touching. But damn it, I'm telling you, there is so much ass out there. And yes, I am saying this on national, uh, well, not TV, but I am saying this live. There is a lot of ass out there. I jumped too early. See, you got me distracted, bro. <laughs> I take it you're not married. There's nothing wrong if you live the single life. I mean, you know, you can pretty much do what you want to. Date whoever you want to date. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. What the fuck? I can't hit him. Alright, there we go. Yes, you can look, but you better not touch. Nah, no, I love my wife too much. You know, I'm a family man. I got kids. I got my wife. Um, I got a lot going for me and hopefully um, with my twitch channel hopefully I'll be able to grow it and get more people to uh, come to it just saying my dude and with your help and a few others help um, I'll be able to achieve that hopefully with my TikTok channel I have over 600 and something odd people uh, they know me for the gig economy and uh, there are times where I may post my gaming clips on there and I actually get quite a few likes on it, but I keep forgetting to um, put my uh, website on there. Like, you know, twitchtv.com slash bigbossdbz. I may want to start doing that. <laughs> that way I may be able to get more followers. Married, but I'm Mormon, so I'm looking to have... Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. You know, that's your culture, so that's a... Hey, not bad. See, I'm always interested in learning about different cultures. I know about the Mexican culture. Uh, I know about the Swedish culture. But I've never had the um, pleasure of Mormon or Mormonality. If I'm saying that right. You know, I don't want to bash it or nothing. Anyway, we are at Dr. Wiley's castle now. Let's get it. We're heading into the final castle, guys.
I just, I told myself that I was not gonna, there we go, keep this charged up for so long. All right, there we go. I keep hitting the wrong button. I cannot believe I messed that up. And I died. Oh, I died. Let's try that again. Oh shit, I almost got crushed. Sorry for the silence, I'm just trying to concentrate here. Dr. Wally's castle is not to be fucked with. Alright, there we go. You can normally hit him twice. Oh yeah, by the way, have you seen Top Gun Maverick yet? Everybody's talking about it. I'm gonna take my wife to see it uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, you want to? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen uh, all the trailers and I saw all the previews and all that shit. Ah, damn it, I lost my damn charge. Uh, come on, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I having the hardest time? Okay, there we go. They say it's better than the original. Well, I always would think that the the second movie comes out better. But, um, I won't know until I see it. The fuck? Okay, there we go. Hold on for a second. There's a fly buzzing around my screen. I'll get it here in just a second. God damn it. I'm not gonna have a fly come and ruin my stream, damn it. <laughs> but I, I'm, man. See, when a movie comes out that I really wanna see, I usually wait a couple of days until after the, um, you know, the crowd dies down and all that shit. Now, it came out this past Friday. Here it is, Sunday. And Monday morning we're gonna see it. They're still sold out. If I hadn't bought the tickets earlier this morning, uh, we would have probably had to wait until this coming weekend to see it. I'm really glad that I bought those tickets. See, another movie that my wife was wanting to see that I didn't was that new Batman that came out. Uh, 
I told my wife, I said, I don't like this Batman. And plus the movie was three hours long. Needless to say, I went to go see it, but uh, that movie was so damn long. It's on HBO Max. Oh, you talking about Top Gun Maverick? Top Gun Maverick is on HBO. The movie just came out. It's not even on Paramount. Or are you talking about something else? Nowadays, you got people streaming movies and all this shit. A lot of people think that uh, these streaming channels are a lot cheaper to go other than DirecTV and all this other shit. Personally, if you have all those streaming channels, uh, I personally would say that you're paying almost basically the same thing. Because if you have like five streaming platforms, what good is having all those platforms? Oh, the Batman? Okay, I got you. No! Okay, there we go. I really thought... Oh, shit, wait a minute. Oh, damn. Oh, we got another one. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I went to go see uh, that movie, and it was just like, bleh. I didn't like it. I mean, I went because of my wife, but I just, I didn't like it. We have Hulu, Netflix, HBO Max, Paramount Plus, Peacock, and Disney Plus. Holy shit, bro. The only thing I have is Paramount Plus. I don't have any of those other ones. Then I use my parents' DirecTV password to get normal channels. See, I have DirecTV and uh, Paramount Plus, but I don't have all that other shit. It's just, I, I think personally it costs way too much. How much is your bill if you don't mind me asking, man? I just knew I was gonna get hit. That just sounds like it's a high bill. got black stuff on your hands that sounds like a personal problem <laughs> she was she was asking for that one <laughs> she asked for that one uh, but then again I'll probably hear it later how much was that order Got it. Alright. Alright. Who's this? Boss number three or boss? No, this is boss number two, isn't it? So far, I have used nothing but the Mega Buster. I have not used any of the special abilities or anything. Boop! <laughs> All right, we're heading back into the eight Robot Masters. We're gonna defeat every Robot Master using only the Mega Buster. We have eight energy tanks that might be enough. I was waiting for him to hit me. All right, guys, these are the eight Robot Masters. Let's go ahead and whoop their ass again. Who's that honking outside? The people next door, man. Oh, I fired too early. All right, that's one down. Watch out for that harpoon! And he comes at you like warp factor. in what 30 years of me playing this game he never just would like jump that far to get to you he would usually do that shield first 
Wow! I have never seen him do that. Like, this right here. He was supposed to have done that first. But he didn't. <laughs> oh, holy shit. How the hell did I miss him? Oh my god! I am like the worst gamer ever. I've told y'all before, if you get hit by Starman, you are the worst gamer because this is all he does. This is the pattern that he does. And myself, like a damn dumbass, runs right into his star shield. You got me fucked up, man. I need to I need a redo. I can never dodge those. No, damn it. <laughs> you got to stay you got to stay right close to him. And right when I slid, I just knew he was going to do it again. Okay, there we go. We pay 90 a month for internet. And yeah. Whoa! $150? 180 so a little cheaper and more of a... Oh, okay. Damn. Dude. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. I read that last part. We pay 90 a month for internet and about 60 for all the streaming services. Nah, fuck that, bro. Uh-uh. To me, that's still too much. I mean, we, we have a bill of 147, 147, and that's for um, like 600 channels. With today's economy, man, things are just just too high. I mean, look at gas prices. I mean, we're like 419 a gallon. I mean, it's high. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a lot of people started riding their bikes to work. And that's ridiculous. we go. Last but not least, this asshole. You gotta be careful because he'll rush at you. Oh, like that. Yeah, I just, I knew it. Alright, we're good. That was bullshit. Alright, Dr. Wiley. Old friend. Well, old enemy. If you stay close to the middle, you'll have a better chance of getting away. Most of the time, he'll stay in the middle. I probably should have just jumped. Oh, come on now. Are you serious? I had a good clean shot.
All right, last one. And of course he escapes. So far, only use the Mega Buster. Now before we go off into the uh, final boss, I'm going to show y'all the um, abilities that I got from the Robot Masters. I might as well get it out of the way. We got Water Wave from Wave Man. It just runs right along the floor. We have Gyro Attack, which uh, if you shoot it, you can shoot it up with the directional button. You can go up with it, or you can go down with it. We have Crystal Eye, which shoots a big crystal, but if it hits a wall, it breaks into multiple crystals. We have Napalm Bomb, which if you shoot it, you can shoot up to three. You know, it would be nice if you could uh, detonate it yourself. And you have Super Arrow, you can shoot it. And you can actually use it to get to far to reach places. Or you could use it if you uh, are out of Rust Jet. This is Power Stone, the weakest ability ever. This is all this does. That's all it does. You have Gravity Hold, which is actually Gyro Man's attack. This is what it does. And you have Charge Kick from Charge Man. It doesn't take them. It doesn't take the enemies out in one, you know, one kick. But this is what it does. And of course, Star Crash from Star Man. You form a shield. You hit the button again. It'll go this way. Well, it'll only go straight. It doesn't go up or down or anything. And we already know about Rush Jet, Rush Coil. I am going to be using Beat in the final battle. So I'm just letting y'all people know. But I have went through this whole entire game with using the Mega Buster. Look, go ahead, Bubba. Dr. Wally has two forms. First, we have his skull. Oh, shit. God damn it. All right, after defeating the skull, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Mega Tank. It pretty much refills not only my energy, but my weapon energy as well, as I said earlier in the game. And now we are going to bring Beat. His final form. Sometimes beat he'll go exactly where he goes and that it'll show me he'll show me actually what like this right here He'll show me where his next move is Damn it, I was trying not to get hit right there That's okay. That's that's okay. If I didn't you see by using B, oh he's gone. Bless you. Here, go blow your nose. If I didn't use beat, this fight would be a whole lot longer. That's the main reason why I use Beat, because sometimes he'll appear up, and he'll be out of reach. So, um, yeah. And we found Dr. Light, Mega Man's creator. 
You know, on Twitch, I really don't like the fact that they took our friends online ability away because there's no way of me knowing who's all online or who's streaming because um, I would like to raid them. It makes it a lot harder for me to raid those that are um, actually live. But um, that was Mega Man 5. I almost said 4. That, this is Mega Man 5, guys. Uh, I like to appreciate everybody that came by. Jets Keys. Brand liability, ain't y'all the same? You're one and the same, right? I just wanted to make sure. I just want to make sure. But <laughs> there were actually some viewers that actually came and went. Um, but um, this was actually a mini stream. Hey, I'm an hour and 13 minutes in. I'm definitely gonna do what I say do. I'm actually going to upload this to my YouTube channel, and uh, I actually may um, on my TikTok. I may actually put my YouTube. Uh, website on there as well you know just kind of copy and paste or whatever but I'll, I'll tend to that later but uh, again guys this is it right here this is for y'all and if y'all want to catch this run I fully recommend that uh, y'all watch this on my uh, YouTube if you haven't already but uh, anyway guys this is Big Boss DBZ coming at y'all and I will see y'all guys Tuesday I, I may stream tomorrow I'm not sure um, I had a lot of family come down, you know, and things like that. But I will be streaming um, Never Before Seen on my channel, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've, I've played it, but, you know, I never beat it. So, um, it, for me, it'll be a first-time playthrough. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here, and I will see y'all guys Tuesday, if not tomorrow. Be sure to keep updated on my Twitter. I always update my Twitter to let y'all know when I stream, what times, and all that jazz. But normally, Daddy, what? Can I play Super Mario Brothers? All right, hold on. Um, my normal stream times is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 7 o'clock to 9.30. But like I said, now that the kids are out of school, it could be a lot later. But in any case, I'll see y'all guys next time. Y'all take it easy. Y'all have a good Memorial Day weekend.